from Three Days Grace, Barry Stock, and April Wine's number one fan, Dave Cameron. I grew up listening to the music of April Wine as a young adult, and I had the privilege of working for them. And now tonight, I am honored to be a part of inducting them into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. Over the last 40 years, they've recorded 16 studio albums and given us some of the most memorable guitar riffs this country has ever heard. Ever since my first concert in 76, I've been addicted to their music, with songs like Roller, Say Hello, and Just Between You and Me, I am proud to call myself one of their biggest fans. For April Wine, it's never been about re record sales, although they have sold millions. And it's never been about winning awards, even though they've won their fair share. For April Wine, it's always been about the music and making a connection with their fans. Thank you and welcome to the concert. April Wine was one of Canada's most successful bands of the 1970s and early 80s, with a string of memorable hits and magic performances. Originally from Nova Scotia, they moved to Montreal in 1970 and were signed to Aquarius Records. Our first single was Fast Train in 1970, which was top 40 in Canada. The second album produced Drop Your Guns, uh, You Could Have Been a Lady. Stand Back. The monster album for us. Every single album spawned two or three top 40 singles in Canada. And then a huge leap of success occurred with the single Roller being picked up by American radio stations. Roller really didn't get going until the band started playing down there. And then everything sort of naturally developed from people being excited and seeing the band. That excitement propelled the single Roller into the U.S. Top 30, and the album First Class was certified gold. American success grew with tours alongside Styx, Journey, Rush, and Nazareth. This led to international stardom, particularly in the U.K., playing the very first Monsters of Rock Festival in Castle Donington, 1980. And the next year headlined the legendary Hammersmith Odeon in London. We've been very lucky lately to be able to travel all over the world. This has been our year. They were the first Canadian band on MTV, and with Nature of the Beast selling over a million albums, April Wine were at the top of their game. Well, as you can all see, we've progressed, and they've now put a roof over our heads. There's just no holding us back these days. In 1984, April Wine decided to step away from the limelight, but reassembled in 1992. I wanted the party to continue. You know, I still had a full glass. Over 40 years and 20 albums later, April Wine continues to record and tour to this day. Just 